You got like a like, what is it a what is one of those dogs good. that yeah. that can my sniff? You give good. them the the underwear and they go sniffing yeah. your personnel. Yeah. Oh, you're like a fucking basset hound, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm kind of smelling something. I don't know. <laughs> no. And then no. Lola says, "What did you say?" Yeah, you could tell. You could tell you never did cocaine. No. <laughs> 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 so you and Tim are like, "What? We don't smell so Like maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'm like. Ah, 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 Here ah. comes the firefighters. This <laughs> was like, I'm not waiting until the last I was moment. Like, should, right, and all should we grab it? Should we? Because I was like eyeing all of our stuff. I think everything's over here. If we yeah. need to grab it and go, you know. That's what I was like. Oh, man. I don't see so, smoke, but I smell it. There's a couple of things. Like, I'm really pretty confident. Like, if there's a fire, I'm going to get the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. find a way out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting out. Like, mm -hmm. Although you don't realize how burning in the eyes yeah. is. Because yeah. I um, accidentally yeah. set some plastic on fire in my kitchen once. <laughs> and I accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> and I ran in there and my eyes just burnt. Yeah. Like you yeah. have to. Well, and also the breathing yeah. too. Breathing yeah. that in. Yeah. yeah. It, it burns. A few times and, and you can. And once that yeah. hits you, yeah, you're. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I can, so now I understand why, how some people can't make it out in a fire because that shit burns everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then you have to close your eyes and you well, can't and also breathe. Kind, and kind of gives you a, bigger, a higher respect for the firefighters, too. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. For having to walk That's into that. That's definitely a job mm -hmm. I could not do. Me neither. Because yeah. I'd be like, nope. nah, I'm I don't want to risk getting burned. I do not want to risk getting burned. Why ever... would I go in there? It's I on know, fire. I just got my, yeah. hair, I just <laughs> got my hair done. They're like cops. Hurt. People are shooting. Like, I'm, not going. I'm not going with the people going shooting. Where there's any mist. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do I look like? <laughs> Have you ever watched that old show, Emergency? It's taking place oh, in the gosh. 1970s. They run into fires all the time without any mask on. And they'll yeah. do a couple of coughs. And yeah. I'm like, okay, all of you all are they dying all of cancer. they all die CPOD or whatever yeah. the fuck it is. I'm right? just like, you know, yeah. there's not just a couple of coughs when the plastic is burning. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or they'll run into an entire warehouse that's burning, fire, yeah. smoke everywhere, and they're like, ah, ah, ah. and come out yeah. and their hair is perfect. Yeah. They're yeah. all fine, yeah. no soot on their face, nothing. That's I'm like, okay, I want a little realism. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show me the guy dying because <laughs> he didn't wear his fucking mask. Or they'll go into a fire and they want to see, so they'll take their mask off. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like, no, the whole point is that you can't breathe in a fire. Yeah. I would not be good at, at those kind of emergency services. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think I'm well, I yeah, the a uh, couple of years ago, the apartment right underneath, mm. they had. I don't know if you knew we had a fire. I, you did yeah. tell us. You did yeah. tell us. Yeah, yeah. that that the. the um, his electric bike, the mm -hmm. lithium battery. Oh, shit. Because yeah, I don't know why. Handy. I'm like laying there in bed. It's like 6 mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning, and I hear, boom, the whole thing shakes. And I don't know why. I thought... Oh, the guy next, the older guy next that lives next door must be up painted doing something on a ladder and fell. Like that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> and so I just rolled back and say, because and then, that's tangible, yeah, right? And then it goes bam, and I was like, did he go back up there again? <laughs> and, Damn, he's slipped. And then, then I got the smell, and so I walked over, I went over to my roommate, and she goes, she said, yeah, that the people. She looked out the window, and the ones on the fifth floor are crawling out the fire escape. Oh, oh shit. wow! And yeah, so I called. I had what the floor are you on? and I sleep naked. I'm on six. I'm on the top floor. Yeah, that's and this why I don't on five. sleep naked. And, and so I'm, I'm putting my on. clothes on while I'm calling nine one one on speakerphone, and um, uh, it was so quick too because mm -hmm. by the time I reported it, they said, yeah, somebody's already called it in. And um, I grabbed the phone and started down. The, I opened my door, and the whole hallway you couldn't even see mm -hmm. our down our hallway. Yeah. It had wow. filled up with smoke that quick. Wow! Mm -hmm. And we went outside. I shut the door, and then I was gonna say, did you shut I, the door? I, as I was going down the stairs, of course, the fire department was already there coming up Thank and God. asked yeah. where it was, and I said, "Oh, I think it's in five. And yeah, wow. they were there like that. Yeah. I don't know how they did. Yeah, our, our fire like, department is pretty genie damn good. Yeah, I mean, our fire all our good. social like but, but, the garbage, our fire department, like mm -hmm. everything is pretty awesome mm -hmm. here in New York. Yep. I just wish most of them weren't Republicans. Yeah, uh. but just as I um, but I just remember like kind of like what I did here. I just turned around and looked, and I thought this might be the last time I see my stuff. Seriously, oh, wow. and and so I left, Aww. and I kept thinking, you know, oh, I should have gotten fire insurance, got should have gotten right. renters yeah. insurance, and I still yeah. for and I was yeah, thinking the other day <laughs> I should get some, and now so this is telling me yes, it's time I it's need the to universe get it. Universe, yeah, telling you get yeah. some yeah. fire insurance. Yeah, hell yeah, wow. 
Sexy fireman. That's the second. Oh. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me because now I have to go masturbate. Oh, I yeah. love firemen. I think they firemen are, so are usually hot. sexy because there's so many young ones. Because oh, and so built. I yeah, know a strong. couple of them that like, are hot as fuck. Yeah, most right? of them yeah. like but, come in the service around age twenty one. They don't right? leave until around right? forty. You know, they but get the, the job finally pension. wears them out. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> they get that good pension. But the, yeah. but the problem mm-hmm. is, is they know it. That so many of them are just yeah. so fucking arrogant. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to flirt with them sometimes at the grocery store because they'll come in. Yeah, I love And I'm them. like, uh, they probably get flirted with all the time. I just yeah. won't. <laughs> oh, I do. You I do? do. Yeah, I'm always like, hey, boys. <laughs> and then do the little shoulder thing. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. <laughs> I just like to, oh, hey, boys. Hey, guys. <laughs> I hear you have great pensions. <laughs> look I at like the size. Pensions, look at the, I like look yeah. at the look at the size of their, your pension. Can yeah. I see your hose? Yeah. <laughs> and they we all walk like, really confidently too. Yeah, just so manly. You know? I think that's right. it too. Is that they know they have a tough ass job and yeah. they've been proven that they can do it. Right. So okay. they right. have that confidence. Like, yeah. I can take on anything. Well, they're yeah, that they're, they're a step above yeah. in a way. Yeah. Give right. me a fire, I can do it. Uh huh. <laughs> And it's just so sexy. I agree. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a, a these firemen. They had stopped. I I was walking up the hill, and in Harlem one day, and the, there was a fire truck there, and so I stopped and I was joking around with the firemen in in the in the truck. And I was saying, you know, I, I said something That's about how all good stories start. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I was just joking around just joking. with the fireman. And the well, and I was saying, joking and I was telling him, you know, I was that I'm gay. And I said, do you have any gay firemen? Because I really would love to have my very own fireman. And we're joking and talking and stuff. And then I left and, you know, said goodbye. And I walked around and I'm walking up the the street and I get up to the top of the hill. And I was just thinking, oh, my God, that would be so hot to have like all these gorgeous fireman driving by in the truck and honking and about that time eh, eh, <laughs> I turned around and they're all waving I'm like oh my god and they go come over do that to him so I walked around and one of the guys really cute really hot was a, a younger guy so he's mm-hmm. probably one of the rookies yeah, he was sitting there with his arm out initiation. so I start going like up and down his arm like going I'm looking for a gay fireman I was like oh <laughs> <laughs> But just the thought that having this gay, uh, this fireman, mm-hmm. this truck full of firemen honking right. at me, wave, I was just like my dream come true. Yep. It was fucking fabulous. <laughs> yeah, some of them are hot. I mm-hmm. have to think, okay, if I was walking down the street as a woman and they honked at me, oh well, if, I think I would be like happy with it if uh-huh. they were firemen. The firemen? Uh-huh. Okay. Unless it happened all the time. Then, then, right. like, then, then, then it might be a creepy. Yeah. Yeah. What about a Con Ed truck? And no. they were like, hey, blondie. Eh, eh. No. Would you be like, no. No, oh, that's Daddy. harassment. Oh, yeah. I might. Harassment? Yeah. I mean, so, but see, women. <laughs> that's the difference between yeah. women and gay men. Gay men would love that. You would. I would love for. Like, would you if that or, happened all the time? Not nec- maybe not all the time, but at least or for once people or you twice. don't want <laughs> once or twice a year. I because that's mind. usually why. Because it's for right, people exactly. we don't want anything to do with. Or I would love to walk by a construction site and have the construction workers going, "Ooh, baby, baby, <laughs> hell yeah, let's pop behind this piling over here and let's." <laughs> So, you know, it's one of those philosophical <laughs> thinkings to where it's all how you think about the situation. So maybe mm-hmm. we should just teach women that think positive about the situation. Mm-hmm. That is actually a really yeah. good compliment mm-hmm. that all these guys are like, you know, oh, great butt. We should turn around and go, thank you. Mm-hmm. I've worked really hard at the yeah. gym. <laughs> the one that gets me is when they're yeah. like, smile. Smile. No, yeah. like, you fucking smile, asshole. I, yeah. <laughs> there was an smile. interesting... And, should, oh, the other one that gets me is like, you so should You get smoking. this all the time? Oh, my God. Like, you should smile. Seriously? Not all the time anymore. <laughs> no, but I mean... I mean but but I, it's, it but happens regularly. It's, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I saw this thing the other day where they were had asked women, and it was shocking. They said, when was the first time that you remember mm-hmm. being like sexualized or feeling uncomfortable or something. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. most women said in childhood. Yep. Absolutely. Stop yep. it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause I mean, I always, I'm always like, oh, you're so pretty and you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're talking about? No, or no, is no. It, like I remember like a grown, like, Somebody of the like, a but they'll say, the "Oh, family. you're gonna be uh-huh. so hot when you're legal." Yeah. Oh, like, make, oh my god. My when? Oh my god. Yeah, and like, like pat me on the butt <gasps> or something like that. And I mm-hmm. remember telling my dad, "Look, I don't like how dude keeps every time he hugs me, he's Rick. grabbing my ass." Oh the my fuck? god. Mm-hmm. And I was a little kid. 
Mm-hmm. And my dad, my dad was like, are you serious? And then the next time the person came over, my dad saw him trying <sighs> to do that to me. And it was like an issue. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I think it is just creeps. Because as an older adult woman, I don't get it that often anymore. Yeah. And yeah. That it's, it's usually just from like directed at younger. Yeah, it's and directed at when you're underage. And, uh-huh. underage. and I think wow. that's why we we just learned that it's the fucking creeps. Because why is a grown man talking to a twelve year old? Absolutely, he's got to be a fucking pervert. Uh huh. And so when it's done, once I turn twenty one and somebody's yelling that shit at me, now I automatically think he's a pervert because uh-huh. he's probably the same one yelling at a twelve year old. Yeah, I wow. remember being fourteen and doing a modeling job for hair. Mm-hmm. And the guy that was doing my hair was like, "You're 14," and I was like, "Yeah." He goes, "That's well, the age they I'm love to turn us out." out yeah, they love to turn 18. us out at age 14. <gasps> I was oh like, my God. "The fuck!" And I remember like telling my mom, "I was like, this guy is saying shit. Like he's taking me out for ice cream when I'm 18." Oh my god! And I god. remember my my mm-hmm. mom like getting into his ass, like, "What the fuck? You're a yeah, fucking hairdresser." Yeah. But they yeah. say age fourteen wow. is is usually the you know the first time Those people get sexually well, assaulted. That's when I started, when you get right. more yeah. at like thirteen, yeah. twelve, more uh-huh. when guys I start developing. Start coming breasts. on to you. Uh-huh. I had bigger breasts mm-hmm. than most people like in my uh-huh. class. So I was like, a little and more oh, developed. I guarantee you were a target. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh my god. Well, that's what I learned. I was so happy after you know I was an old woman. I discovered I was an happy old woman. <laughs> that. As a as a girl, I was happy that I don't have big breasts because the big breasted friends that I've yeah, had targets, went through yeah. torture uh-huh. as young girls with big breasts, right. where all I ever got was flat chested. You know, uh-huh. oh, you're flat chested. But the girls with the big titties got like, let me suck them titties, let me touch oh, them yeah, titties, yeah, yeah. let me try to fill you up. Oh, they would yeah. attack you in the hallway and shit. What do you yeah. mean attack? Yeah. Like touch? Where like boys like would try to grab yeah. you and touch you? You'd open your locker yeah, and they'd come behind sure. you and do that oh. or do that. Oh my yeah, God! Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. They'd attack 100%. you in the fucking hallways or going down I the did, steps. I, I, They'd do that shit going down the steps, especially if you're wearing oh a skirt. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah me, young boys are awful. But well, I mean, the I men know that, that are but after I didn't young realize girls they are actually worse. did physical touching. Oh yeah, and stuff, that that was yeah. common. Like, That's what we're complaining school, about. I felt my history teacher was a perv. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like a, yeah, a yeah, lot of, yeah. Like he was always flirting with me, and he was oh, like, my God. he was well into like his sixties. Oh and my I god! And I was in high school. I was in high school. He had probably been doing that for decades. Decades, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. He was a total mm-hmm. perv. He was a total perv. Mm-hmm. But what I used to do was he would leave me in charge of the class. So when this fucking moron would leave, I would read the answer key to everybody. Yes, else. So yes, you had, yes. You had the best <laughs> scores in my history class. took advantage of being special. <laughs> yeah, we had a best like yes. because they were like, "Look, oh, he likes you," and I was yeah. like, "Yeah, I know." Yeah. Take advantage like, of it. Maybe that's what we should teach our girls. That's always been my thing. Is that teach, teach the girls how to teach use girls that how to, to their advantage. how to really yeah, deal right. with sexual yeah. harassment. Use it for your advantage. Yeah. Because you quitting your job is only hurting you. It's not hurting him. Yeah, he doesn't uh-huh. give a fuck. You know. Fuck. So if he and right. your next job, what's going to say that they're, the same thing's not going to happen to you? Especially right. if you got right. big tits and you're a good-looking woman. Right. In a right. male-dominated right. society, wow. you know, job. So take advantage of it. If he wants, you know, if he's going to give you a raise for a blowjob, give him a fucking blowjob. I'm the not yeah. giving anybody a blowjob. <laughs> no. I will. I know. No. <laughs> See, I would. that's, a, it, there's, so, there's, yeah. it all sounds but kind I'd of make him write that sh- No, I'd make him shit. <laughs> it all sounds like a good time, guys. I'd make him write that shit down first because a lot of mistakes right, happen. Right. The woman agrees to that yeah. shit and it doesn't happen. Uh-huh. So, no, write you write it down. down. Uh-huh. You say, yeah. Give me the contract get him right in text, now. Because that shit holds yeah. up in court and be like, be like, be like, give me the do? raise first, and right. then I'll give you the blowjob. Uh, yeah. You know, and that's what our old grandmothers used I to owe know. You. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the old grandmothers used to tell you the young girls, like, yes or no. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's why they said get the ring first before the sex. <laughs> Yeah. Because uh, right, once right. you yeah. get the sex, you ain't getting the ring. Well, and, get the payment okay, first. Okay. The grandmothers see, used to know that shit. Interesting. I mean, it's clarifying the dynamics a lot more for me because mm-hmm. young men growing up or boys like in those those teen years mm-hmm. and all of that right. are just sexually explosive like yeah. they they Literally. start they start yeah. getting yeah. hard and want to stick it in anything mm-hmm. and the girls are developing and you peanut butter and jelly they sandwiches want to stick it in, stick it in. <laughs> apple pie, that's apple all they pie. yeah that's all they want to do that's all they want to do good warm and cream the girls bun. and the girls are taught Boston not cream. Boston cream. <laughs> <laughs> and the cream. 
<laughs> I think Claire. Yeah. Oh, Claire's perfect. <laughs> So that shows the maturity level yeah. of this show. Nice and warm. <laughs> no, but but the girls are taught no, don't let them, mm-hmm. don't do that. But yet the guys have the urge and they need mm-hmm. the release. But and they'll they say can't and do get anything it for that like release. it's hard from mm-hmm. the girls. And mm-hmm. I can see how like this next generation coming on, mm-hmm. how just for sexual release have many more options now sexually but that's and. Why. and I think they're so even more way, confused now. Well, in Poor some, girls. In some I feel ways, sorry for the girls but, now. Well, I would say that's because they're that's supposed that's to be sexually liberated, but at the same time, they're going to get pregnant and they can't get an abortion anymore. Right? Yeah. So they're right. supposed to be sexually liberated, and oh, I'm having sex because I enjoy it, and you know. Uh-huh. But meanwhile, yeah, okay. the man's gotta, enjoying it more, and you're getting fucking pregnant. Uh huh. Right. And now you're right. going to be illegal uh-huh. if you get an abortion, or you're going to have a kid that you can't afford at age 14, and that you hate. Uh-huh. Because, you know, unfortunately, yeah, you if you wouldn't. don't want to have a child, there's a lot mm-hmm. of stuff that comes along with that. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. some of it could be in the raising of your of that child. Like, you mm-hmm. have resentment. And, Unless you have parents absolutely. that want that kid. Mm-hmm. And this is the other thing about pregnancy with women. They act as if it's just a temporary thing. Okay. But it's not. They've proven that every single cell of your body changes when you're pregnant. And that that fetus cells go throughout your body. So mm. that fetus is actually in your body for the rest of your gross. life. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> so it's not something that's just a temporary nine months kind of thing. Uh-huh. It's forever. Forever. Ever? As a female. So Those cells a, are still a, in you. Uh-huh. Your child. Okay. And that's why probably why you have such a deep connection to your child right. as well. Uh-huh. Because okay. their cells are still fucking in you. The man does not have that experience. Uh-huh. The man does not have fetal sh- cells floating through his system and going into his brain mm-hmm. and telling his his adrenaline glands and shit how to react. Mm-hmm. But a woman has that shit. We have that shit going through us mm-hmm. all the time if you get pregnant. And even if you have mm-hmm. a stillbirth or you have, you know... Um, a miscarriage. Those fetal cells are still in you. You still wow. feel that. Uh-huh. How long do they stay in you forever? Forever. They're floating around for you forever. Oh, man. And they're especially <laughs> in your uterus. And that's why they think sometimes if you're um, a female after several, several boys were born, you're going to be gay. Or if you're a boy after several females were born, oh, I see you're more you likely mean. to be gay. Like maybe the because hormones. Because that fetal or, tissue and the hormones uh-huh. are still in there floating around. So if there's if and you give birth to I several boys, you would yeah. have like the X a lot of the young, or the, the YY yeah. chromosomes. Mm-hmm. Still floating there uh-huh. that, that, um, that, that during, would, that would in, in, yeah, with um, it, I think it's around the influence, third influence, month. Influence yeah, around the third the, month, it influenced the brain patterning either either wow, male or female. Wow. And it patterns the sexuality either male or female. Uh-huh. Because of all that extra hormones and shit that is going through you. And that's why some kidney diseases can cause your child to, um, your female child to go lesbian. Because it affects your hormones and creates more testosterone in the uterus. What was that? The, kidney a kidney diseases? disease can oh, affect really? uh, your testosterone wow. levels. And then that can get into the uh, uterus. And there's more oh. testosterone floating around the uterus during the time that the brain is conditioning itself either male or female. Wow. Hmm. So there's all this shit that goes on. The female is not just a, a vessel where right. it just uh-huh, grows right, and then goes right. out. It affects mm-hmm. the entire female body. Uh-huh, for the rest of their life. Yeah, That's and it, they also discovered that it also drains your energy to where you're not going to be, um, you're not going to live as long because mm-hmm. it, it ages you. Now, oh, they came wow. out and said, well, after you're pregnant, after a couple of years, you go back to normal, to where you're going to age normally. But for those times that you were pregnant, you're accelerated aging. And so, oh. and so women that don't have babies tend to look younger than women that have had babies mm. because right. of that reason. Because it drains your energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're a little succubus. <laughs> yeah. You know, they just they heat s- off of you. Yeah. yeah and your body tends to want... suck it all out. <laughs> yeah, and your body and then tries to get all that energy. And they suck it all out. Yeah, and then they suck out... Yeah. yeah. They're constantly suckling from you. Yeah. And then when they're 18 years old, they still want to suckle with, you know. And then they start suckling you, all your money. And they suckle my yeah. fucking uh, yeah. bank account. Your bank yeah. account. Yeah. <laughs> Please feed me, mommy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not just this simple little thing. Right. And all of that comes mm-hmm. from sex. Comes which, from again, sex. men so view then, so, then the so men flippantly. Right. So flippantly. No. Yeah. But for a female, it's major. Yeah. Okay, but so then the men have none of that residual. None of it. Hmm. So they Man, can just you post come, off wherever they want. Absolutely. They can do whatever you, the fuck they want. You dump your load. You're done. Oh, and this is the other thing. That sperm that he dumps inside you even affects you. Mm. 
Really? Because that goes throughout your system, and you feel that, and um, your system reacts to it and kind of likes it. I look at it as toxic waste. <laughs> Get it off of me! Yeah. Get it off! But your system reacts to it, so mm. it's not okay. just this innocuous so it kind of sperm. A, a, yeah, uh-huh. and and your body reacts to it, and, and that's why part of the reason why you feel happy after sex too. It's not just because of the physical contact; it's because you know he put that load in you, and it's floating throughout your system, and your system's trying to deal with it. That always makes me happy. Exactly. <laughs> Especially if you get getting up Man's your butthole load, because load your around. intestines can like absorb all that shit too. Yeah, and it does, the uh, colon absorbs the. Yeah, you know. mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So you have that residual. Did you ever hmm. hear of people soaking tampons in vodka and putting it up their ass? Uh, something I along that, that line, that but that, that does not drunk. surprise me. It's really me. a thing, guys. Yeah, I would think it would burn. Yeah. Okay. Just like I don't want a burning asshole. I just don't want to mess up my my chemistry, darling. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do that know? too. I mean, mess up the bio genomes yeah. and all those. Yeah. Yeah. Because the bacteria all the probiotics is probiotics and yeah, it's supposed to be balanced. <laughs> Maybe if we coat it in yogurt. Yeah, coat it in yogurt and it's stick it in there. Well, coat it in yogurt. <laughs> what was? I did try to do sensor. that for for a um, yeast infection and it didn't work. Coat it in yogurt. Coated a tampon in yogurt and stuck it up me. My uh, vagina because my I had a yeast what, infection uh, uh-huh. and I couldn't get to the uh, drugstore and because wow. you know when Did you have a yeast inf- no oh the yeast infection burns like a it motherfucker it, it didn't do nothing I mean the Probably coldness the cooled it for half a second uh-huh. but it didn't do nothing oh goodness I it was still somebody burning used boric acid. Ooh. No, that would burn you. That's what I thought, too. Oh, That's how God, you get yeah. rid of warts. That's like an old wife's tale. <laughs> yeah, you get rid of uh, warts that, that way. You use the boric acid in your, you know, chikunana. Oof. And it yeah, helps. That would burn. Yeah, yeah, my friend had posted that people are lodging nicotine pouches in their buttholes mm. and foreskins for a buzz. Oh, my God. Because it, absor- it absorbs people- real quick. Oh. and. And I just I commented back. I was like, and I thought my past addictions were yeah, we're were back. inconvenient. Yeah, but, so now the tip of your dick is just gonna be like well, no, they said brown. Brown. <laughs> Like you know how smokers see it have like yeah. brown yeah, yellow. Really so the tip of your dick is just gonna be dirty. <laughs> you got a smoker's cough. Come on, stop yeah. on this, baby. I know, right? But okay, <laughs> it's but mental. <laughs> But they said foreskin, <laughs> and most American boys don't have foreskins anymore. So yeah, I guess but just Europeans in Europe. Have to smoke but so they over have in butt. Europe is what they're. Yeah. So in France, they're sticking nicotine <laughs> patches on their foreskin. Yeah, I don't. Mm. People will try anything. Yeah, to yeah anything for a high. Anything for a high. Well, I'm, I just don't want to put. I don't want to put anything in my butt, and I don't want to put anything <laughs> else in my vagina. Yeah. Do you know, like, yeah. I, my or vagina up my has nose. a cap. <laughs> You know, like it's got to live it. Yeah, right. <laughs> kind of like the NBA salary. Of... You know, like there's the cap. <laughs> I'm tired of smuggling drugs in my life. <laughs> and you don't even get high from it because it's got all the know, plastic right? around. Not unless it. The, bu- the the plastic bursts. <laughs> but you get a rush because if it pops, you might die. <laughs> <laughs> get a rush before you die. <laughs> but a great high. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side of television. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, okay, so it's uh, becoming legal. Okay, so Kimora Lee's daughter, Aoki, I think her name is. Okay. Uh, she was married to Russell Brand, who is now over Russell in Bali. Simmons. Russell Simmons. Yeah, Russell, Russell Brand. Brand. Okay. Russell, Russell Simmons, Allegedly. who's in, now in over in Bali, Bali this... because he yes. was raping young girls. Okay. Well, and trafficking. they were 18 allegedly. at the time, and allegedly. some were 17. Yeah. Um, allegedly. So, but apparently one of his daughters has become 21 so she's legal okay and um and it looks like 18. she's well yeah but you're legal legal you're yeah really legal so legal. um it looks like she's joined the escort service oh. although no one's going to say that except for russell did come out and say yeah i think she did because <gasps> really? she was well, that apple didn't she, fall from the tr- she met a 65 year old man she flew out to this Nice little Tropez Island or something like that on a yacht and met join a yacht right because it's high yacht season also yeah oh my god right and met this sixty five year old man rich dude that she decided to make her boyfriend for the weekend so for a price nobody's discussed or allegedly. price allegedly but for the weekend they were boyfriend girlfriend and then after the weekend they were no longer together and she had okay. just flown out there. And had just met him that weekend. Okay. okay. Well, that sounds like a yacht girl escort situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? But 
they don't want to say that it is. But they came out and said that that was boyfriend because, you know, they got the pap pictures right. of her, you know, sucking lips with a 65-year-old fat man. Really? And they're like, mm. and she's like, oh, no, it's boyfriend. And yeah. people were like, eh, no, that's Yacht Girl. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like the she joined question, the business. Did she get shit on? Oh. So far, we don't know. Okay. Um, it might just simply be sex, and you. Was buy there me. a camel involved? Right. Like, was there a camel it was, it was involved? Like, we got to get really specific. <laughs> yeah. Were we in international waters? That's yes, right. right. Well, apparently, right. I think she was Chopez Island, so it was Resort okay. Island. Okay. So I guess it was just sex, and you know, you buy me all this stuff that I want. But is it sex trafficking because you flew her uh, out of the country? <gasps> I yeah. think if she buys her own ticket. It's not sex oh, trafficking. So there's a, there's a right. way around that. But then once you get oh. there. So if he bought it for yeah. her. And as long as he doesn't give her cash right away or whatever, and he just like, they go shopping. Right. And buys her all this expensive jewelry and expensive purses and shit like that. Uh -huh. Then it's that not prostitution. It then it's just boyfriend, girlfriend shit. Oh. And that's uh -huh. how it works too. Or he Do gives you the credit the card and you can use his credit card and stuff. But technically he's not paying you because he... He's paying the bill and you're not getting it, but you're getting the funds. Now, if this was a politician and you gave like Adams, who was flying high class to Turkey, right. mm -hmm. that is illegal. If they upgraded you and you're getting um, perks as a politician. Oh, so hmm. okay. if somebody else is paying for your perks, that is illegal. But I don't think it transfers. Because they're kind of buying your loyalty. Especially because there's a lot of women that are mm. married or girlfriend situation. Okay. Or mm. mistress situation. And that's how you're supported. He just pays for everything. He pays okay. for your rent. He pays for your car. Yeah. He, he gives you a credit card to go shopping for groceries. Because you can give somebody up to $5,000 before you start doing capital gains bullshit. You yeah. Know what so I mean? legally... So. Because of the male-female type of situation, there are legal situations to where you're legally his girlfriend, so you're not actually an escort because you're not doing other men. You're just monogamous with him, so it's legal. Monogamous? Monogamous. <laughs> Monogamous. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but see, but see that's... Monogamous. Monogamous. <laughs> All right, so this has been Comedy Sex Show. I'm Tara Tiara. I'm Lil Vasnado. And I'm Tim Moss. T-Y-M-M-O-S-S -S on all social media.